Hello and welcome to Breathing Design. In this video, we'll be learning how to model a site plan in Rivet. Uh, let's begin by opening Rivet first. Click on New, Architecture Template, uh, Create New, uh, the project tab has to be checked. Okay. As soon as we open Rivet, this is what will be shown. We are under Architecture tab and uh, we'll not be using any of these elements at least not for now uh, the tab that we'll be using to model a site plan is massing and site so under that we have uh, various options like property line parking component site component topo surface floor wall roof curtain system place mass and in place mass so these are some of the elements that we'll be using to model a site plan uh, so the first thing that you'll be doing is import a CAD plan. Uh, to do that, you have to go to insert and you have two options uh, by which you can import a CAD file. One is link CAD and the other is import CAD. Under link CAD, uh, you can import a CAD file, not only you, but the other person, like if you're sharing this file with someone else, the other person with this file can also have access to the CAD plan that you'll be uh, linking. But under import CAD, only you will have access to it. Nobody else has access to it. So you can do, uh, you can click on whichever one you want. I'll go ahead and do this. So I have this uh, very random CAD plan uh, that I have imported. As you can see, this is at a very, very, very low scale. So uh, I have to resize res or resize or rescale this plan. So to do that, the first thing that you have to do is click on the CAD plan that you've just imported. As you can see over here, this is pinned over here. So first you have to go and unpin it. Okay, now you've unpinned the CAD plan. Now just uh, go ahead, just for reference, just measure the dimension of the wall over here. Uh, as you can see the dimension is like super small so you can't see any value it shows a zero over here so what you have to do is i know that the cat uh, the, the walls dimension is uh, eight inches so go to architecture go to wall and just model a wall randomly okay as you can see this is like pretty huge um go here and change just to wireframe so you can see the plan through your wall so click on the plan uh, click on the move button snap to this end point and place it at this end point all right so now this is the dimension of the wall this is how big this wall has to be so now to resize it just Click on the plan, go to scale, uh, sorry, go to scale, click on this point. This is your first point. This is your second point. And this is, sorry, the end of the wall is going to be your third point. All right. So as you can see, it is like properly scaled. Now just measure the dimension of this wall. It has come to eight inches. So that's basically how you scale any of the CAD plans. When you import it from CAD, sometimes it comes, it gets imported in the wrong scale. Before we start modeling the site plan, first let's go and set the levels uh, for our understanding. So to set the levels, you can go to either of the elevations. Uh, here you have the typical uh, elevations level 1 at 0 and level 2 at 10. So the first level 1 is basically our top of slab from where the entire building or the uh, entire mass goes up. So let's just rename that to top of slab. Would you like to rename corresponding views? No. Okay. So that's our top of slab. Now we have a topo surface on which the masses go up. Now we all know that it won't be 
on the same level or it won't be at zero. We have this undulating topo surfaces when we are modeling, you know, huge elements like a site plan or something like that. So for that, let's have a base level like under the slab uh, for our topo surface. Let's have a base level just for our understanding. So if you want to create another level, just click on one of the levels. You can either copy paste it like uh, click on the click on the level first, click on the copy button and then uh, let's keep this at minus five. All right. So this is at minus five and this let's rename it as base level. OK, so this is at minus five. OK, so this is the extent to which our modeling goes to, including the topo surface. And then we have uh, the top of buildings like we'll be modeling a, a couple of masses. So for that, we'll just have a, a top level for all of those masses. So let's just say top of building. And let's just keep that at 20 feet. And here in my plan, I have this huge auditorium. So it'll obviously be a little bit bigger than the rest of the elements. So let's create another level uh, at, a, at a more elevated level. So one of the options to create a separate level is you can either copy paste and then rename it to whatever value or to create a separate level go to architecture and here under datum you have a level so go over there and just uh, yeah let's just model another level let's just create another level so we'll call this top of auditorium And this is going to be at 40 feet. So for now, these are our things. And uh, there are a couple more things that are there in, uh, in this. So one is this patio. We have patios all throughout this. So let's just create another level for the patios. So that will be at five feet. So I'm just going to copy paste it at five feet. So this we can call it top of patio. So this is basically how you create levels. Uh, either you can go to architecture tab and create new levels over here by clicking on this or uh, you'll already have two existing levels, which is uh, a standard thing in all of the rivet models. So you can just go ahead and rename that or, you know, copy paste it or duplicate it or something like that. So now we'll just uh, make sure that these levels, they pass through the entire building. So right now I've not modeled anything, so you can't see any of it. So once we've modeled something, let's come back and, you know, set these levels correctly the extent of these levels. So now go back to level one. So this is basically your, you know, floor plan. Like this is your top of slab level one. So to model your topo surface, like the ground, basically the grass, uh, you cannot model it in level one. You have to come to, le you have to come to the site level. So this is basically where you model the topo surface. So to model the topo surface, we have to go to massing and site and here click on topo surface. All right. So here it is a very simple uh, method to model a topo surface. You just have to place points like the boundaries of it. So let's just um, start by placing points.
All right. So it, it, you can just, if you're not satisfied with the shape, you can just go ahead and add a few intermediate points like these. Yeah, something like this. So as you can see, this, uh, this particular surface, it is at the elevation zero. We have not set the elevation. Now this will be at zero. As we go further from this, I just want the topo surface to kind of like go down, you know, go down to say, for example, five feet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the elevation to minus five and I am going to uh, start placing the points like the outer surface. All right. So just to uh, smoothen the curves a bit, I'm just placing intermediate points. So like this, there are certain diagrams, uh, there are certain detailed side plans where they would have mentioned, you know, the elevation for each topo surface. So in such cases, for each contour lines, you have elevation mentioned in the side plan. So whatever elevation they would have mentioned in the side plan just go ahead and add that value over here and that particular uh, contour line will will be modeled on that elevation so if you click on ok and let's just go to the 3d view let's hide this if you want to hide a, a floor plan in 3d view click on the floor plan go to temporary hide isolate and hide element this is one way to do it there's another way to do it which is click on the floor plan right click on it go to hide view and go to elements so this way you can hide the elements so if you want to see the floor plan again all you have to do is go and click on this reveal hidden elements and you have the side plan over here just click on it and click on unhide element toggle reveal yeah just click on that and it just comes back on so now i just want to go here hide it if you want this to come back up again just go to reset temporary hide and isolate and it'll come back up again. all right so let's go to a uh, realistic view Okay, so, so this is what our topo surface looks like if you want it even bigger. Now, say for example, you're not happy with the extent of these points. Like I want to extend these points a bit more. So all you have to do is go back to the site and edit surface. Now you already have all of these points. Just select the points you want to extend and just go ahead and extend those points. You can also delete points like, for example, I don't want this point. Just select the point and just delete it. It's just as simple as that. And I'll move these points a little further inside. I don't want this point, so I'm going to delete it. All right, so, um, okay, so this looks pretty okay to me. Just click on okay. Let's take a look at that in 3D view. Let's also hide these levels. All right, so if you go to the uh, elevation, as you can see, uh, this, the top of 
the topo surface right around the center is on zero and as it goes it slopes down so as you can see it slopes down to minus five this is how it is you can either have this level at zero and you know this level can go down similarly you can create this topo surface at any level you want to now i just as you can see the con the contour lines are just two like this is one of the lines and this is one of the lines i want to add more contour lines to make it more stable so for that uh, go to massing and site click on this little arrow near the mo model site and here as you can see at intervals of 10 feet so just go ahead and change that to say for example two feet okay so now we have a contour line at every two feet so this is what it looks like go to massing side if you want to increase the intervals just specify the dimension and So now you have more uh, contour lines. So I would, let's change the material to grass. Click on this here under material. Go and edit it. Create a new material. Rename it to grass. Go to asset browser and appearance go to site work and you have multiple options over here you can either pick a sand you can put pick gravel or stones or pebbles or grass or anything i'm going to pick this grass high quality all right so we're done this is how it looks all right so now we have this undulating surface uh, which is our base now I want to start modeling uh, so to do that uh, the first thing is you obviously have to place the masses for these there are two ways of doing this either if you want to do a detailed drawing you can as you can see you can go ahead and model each wall and each window and then you know place doors and windows and all of that or you can just create masses like this is one section create a mass over here this is another section create a mass over here create a mass over here like that so before we go ahead and start modeling the masses we have to set up a base like a building pad above which the masses are to be placed so to do that uh, go to building go under massing site massing and site go to building pad and just draw an outline you can either uh, draw it manually or you can just pick lines so I find